Martin Aircraft Company has been around for many years and has been focused very much on developing productive fan technology for aircraft use. The difference between then and now is we've had significant investment, which has enabled us to invest in the appropriate materials or components, which has allowed us to build up the aircraft that we have today in the form of Series 1. That Series 1 aircraft has got more flight hours in the last three months than the company had really put on any aircraft in its history prior. Welcome to the Martin Aircraft production floor. We currently have S1.5 lying down on its front so that we can do a weight and balance. The aircraft currently weighs around 223 kilos. The more weight you have, the more power you need to make a fly because we are a vertical takeoff aircraft. We rely on engine power and thrust from the ducts to make a fly. And the lighter you are, the less power you need, the more fuel, more time. It's more efficient. Although it's taken us some time to source all the manufacturers and parts from all over the world, it has given us the opportunity to end up with the lightest combination of parts available. The ducts are carbon fibre, the airframe is carbon fibre, and the landing gear is carbon fibre. The roll bar is aluminium, the engine itself is an all aluminium quad rotor, which is manufactured in England for us. The parachute is made for us in Israel. The exhausts are a combination of titanium and Inconel, um, also very, very light. A pivotal part of the flight test program for the Series 1 experimental vehicle is something known as P14, which is the uh, remotely piloted surrogate test vehicle and it's basically a couple of weeks ahead of the, the manned test program. So it's essentially a risk reduction uh, vehicle to do a lot of the larger muscle movements of the Series 1 experimental uh, program and, and learn about the vehicle, if not modify um, the design and build of the vehicle as necessary, depending on the results of the test, so that the Series 1 manned program is that much more safer, effective, and efficient for the flight test program. The Series 1 aircraft has been designed with certification in mind, but it is a completely new aircraft type. So there are going to be some pretty unique challenges that, say, the helicopter would have experienced right back when they first came into being. We are targeting getting our Part 146 certification. So to be able to gain that accreditation from the Civil Aviation Authority, we need to have established certain processes throughout the business, and we're refining and tuning those pulling them all together into our final exposition, which we're looking to submit to the CAA. Pilot, wind, calm. You're clear to take off. During the test program, we don't necessarily go as fast as we can initially, or as high as we can, or as long as we can. We're looking to build out that capability as we go. So far, we've flown an 80 kilo pilot for 17 minutes at speeds of up to 40 kilometers an hour. We've been a bit quicker at 50 kilometers an hour with the unmanned aircraft. The aircraft uses fly-by-wire technology to keep it stabilized whilst in the air. The pilot can essentially take all hands off his controls and the computer basically maintains stability, which is almost the exact opposite of the helicopter. A helicopter is something where in a hover, the pilot is actually probably working this hardest, where in the jetpack, the pilot isn't really working at all. So the pilot can be doing other tasks whilst uh, also flying the aircraft. In terms of the uh, planned uh, next uh, series of flights, we're planning to get into more operationally representative tasks. Another part of the envelope expansion is looking at adverse weather conditions. So we'll look to increase the wind speed in which we can take off on landing and the amount of turbulence the aircraft can deal with. We're also looking at the temperature, so how hot and how cold we can operate the aircraft at. There is definitely a place for a manned jetpack in today's world. Things sprock up in terms of drones and personal air vehicles, aspirations for flying cars. The Martin Jetpack as an air vehicle is quite unique in the sense that it enables a person with a reasonable payload to fly for a significant amount of time with a significant amount of stability and control 
which can be tailored for a mission purpose. We want to get people that are specialists in you know, police and firefighting tactical missions to take that vehicle and fly to accomplish their mission and do many things with it, to be like a Swiss Army knife in a sense. It is the best aircraft that the company has ever made. Uh, looking forward to flying it again.